Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Space Engine. So it has been quite a while. Now I'm talking months here. I don't think I've played this um, for a video in a long, long, long time now. But I thought I'd um, bring it back. I know a few people did want it to um, come back um, as well. So um, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a customizing in a uh, space engine so um before we begin though guys i just want to say if you want to see more of space engine and let me know what do you want me to do in it because there isn't really that much to do other than look around so unless you've got like unless you want me to look at systems i don't really know what to do in this for videos i I'd check it out in like fr my free time but i don't really know what to show in videos for this so that's why i sort of uh, stopped doing it but yeah if you've got any ideas for what i could do in space engine then let me know um so I'm always um, interested to see what you guys have to think on this. And yeah, let me know um, what I should do if you um, want me to continue doing Space Engine. But anyways, what I'm going to be showing you today is we're going to be heading to our solar system. And we're going to be having a bit of fun with uh, customising the um, objects in there. So we're going to start off with the sun. Now I have found out that there is a way you can actually modify objects in-game. So yeah, I'm going to be going ahead and doing that. So it should be... Uh, pretty interesting so apparently if you hold control f2 or not, is it no it's shift f2 it opens up this menu here now what you can do in here is you can uh play around with the uh, sun sort of settings you can change what class it is and things like that it's pretty uh silly stuff but i think you can actually change the color of the star oh my god what is going on here so you can actually change the color of the star which is really really cool so yeah look as a planet compared to a star it's completely different so we want to be playing around with some of the not the landscape we want to be playing around with the contrast and stuff like that so i just need to find it there's quite a lot of options in here to uh look through but i believe it's this now with this setting we can act should be able to change the color of the star if i just uh we may have to change it to one of these there we go so look you can see the star if we put it on like different atmosphere types you can see the star is changing color which is a uh, pretty interesting stuff like you can see it's all uh, changing now we've got like a more of a yellow but if we uh change the hue we can see the star is actually changing color so my uh, my goal is to create a green a green star as you know um always been a fan of green objects um in universe sandbox so we're gonna be trying to uh create it in space engine with these uh, pretty uh, crazy settings here so just need to find out the right sort of color i can use um for this what does that do oh there we go so if I do that, try and get the exact uh, color we need for this. Is that going to change? There we go. Now green. Have we got that's green there? About there. That's I'd say that's about green. More of a lime green, something like that. Saturation. Okay, so we want that. So now we want to change this. That. I'll turn that up. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that. Green star. There you go. <laughs> look at this thing. So we can make it brighter. I don't think those do anything. Pressure. That doesn't really change any way it looks. But yeah, check this out. We've actually got... We can make it any colour as well. Like purple, star, red star. That is pretty beast. Yellow star, lime green, green, blue, purple star. But look at that. The green looks really cool. Look at that. Bright green star. We can yeah, literally just change it to any colour we want. So yeah, if you want to do this yourself in Space Engine, literally just click Shift F2 and it should open this menu here. So if we do this, that just makes it more white. That's pretty, uh, pretty cool. So is there anything else? Is it sky? Does that do anything? About that one. So that just makes it brighter, as we can see. But right now we have a green star. Like we can. There we go. Check that. That is really cool. So if we uh, close this, so now the sun is green. Obviously, when we zoom out, it goes more yellow again. Obviously, because it's bright. But if we get close, that is a green star. But what if we uh, land on the surface? Does that have any uh, differences? Oh, look at this. That is a green star. Wow, that actually looks really cool. Maybe I'll use that as the thumbnail, but that looks really cool. I have to say, that is really cool. I'll, I'll take a screenshot of that. That looks amazing. But yeah, check all this out. Wow. That is so cool. So that is this is the closest we could get to a, what an actual green star would look like. But check this out. So let's actually land on the surface of the sun right now. So as we zoom in, it actually gets darker. But if we uh, look up, look at the green glow. Oh, that is so cool. So if we zoom out just a tad bit. There we go. But look around. So it's all flat, obviously. Not very detailed here. Because obviously it's a star. But if we just look up, it's just glowing green. Look at that. And also if we uh, take off again, there you go. So that is the green sun there. Wow, that actually looks really, really cool. So we're going to head to Mercury now. 
we're gonna have a we're gonna customize that as well i'm just gonna customize all the planets in our solar system for today's episode just to uh have a little bit of fun with space engine um but yeah if you um if you guys want me to do any more customizing for stuff then let me know because i can always uh, do that as well but you know let's continue can we do anything to mercury i don't know if mercury has an atmosphere in the game I think the only way to give it an atmosphere is to mod it, so we may not be able to customise uh, Mercury too much. But we don't have to play around with the atmosphere, because since this is a rocky planet, we have access to all of these features. Now, one of the ones that I've uh, had a lot of fun with so far is the volcano options here. If you uh, turn this up, you can start to uh, change the visual appearance of the planet. So we're going to increase the frequency of all this stuff, so if we do that... We should start seeing some volcanoes appear on Mercury. So, yeah, there is it. So not anything right now. So if we increase it, volcanic activity, put that all the way up to max. There should hopefully be some volcanoes appearing. I'm hoping they're going to appear. Or is this coming? I'm not really customize this. Volcano radius there. Oh, wow. All right. I don't know if I can customize this, but we'll, we'll uh, play around with these settings and see if I can do anything. Because I don't know if this has like a preset texture or not in Space Engine. I'm not. I'm not clever enough with Space Engine to really uh, do anything um, too uh, crazy in here. But is this uh, doing anything? I don't think I can edit Mercury's uh, texture here, um, which is a kind of shame. But I can definitely go to some exoplanets and apply those settings. So yeah, we'll leave that for now. So I don't really think that did anything. All right, so we'll head to Venus next. So that is over here. Now we should be able to customize Venus. So we're gonna head to Venus. There we go. I do I do like the way for Space Engine works, I have to say. So there's Venus there. Now, I'm going to try and make this green. So, there we go. Over we open these options. So if we go to Atmosphere, if we go to Chlorine, it should give it a green tint. That's sort of what, like the Sandbox one looks like. But if we uh, have a real change, look at that. An Earth-coloured Venus. We've got Mars-coloured Venus. Even like a Jupiter. There's a Neptune as well. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pluto. And then the Sun as well. Check all these out. Yeah, we're gonna go with chlorine. Then if we change the hue, we can look at this. We can get another. We can get a green Venus. Check that out. Uh, saturation. So if we increase that, we get even more green. Let's check. Does that need anything? Oh yeah, skylight. That does make it a little better, I guess. Brightness. Oh, oh, look at that. Wow, that's looking pretty cool. Uh, pressure. That just increases the ATM. Height. Oh my God. Whoa, damn. So this actually makes the atmosphere a lot. Or a lot higher above the planet so look at this that's just the atmosphere we're looking at right now i mean pretty crazy right and then also if we lower the atmosphere down we can just make it completely disappear as well but that's what we want it to sort of look like to so make it a thick green venus wow look at that green venus does look really cool so if we uh land on the surface of venus now if we look up there we go we're on the surface check this out so you obviously have the regular venus surface with a bright green sky look at this similar to the sun as well but look at that that looks so cool with the green green is a really cool color with planets if you ask me like look at this this is so cool so obviously if we zoom out back into space we're out the atmosphere now and there you go so there is a green venus let's get a good look at that without all of the hud and stuff in the way but yeah check that out that looks really cool, actually. Wow. So, yeah, there is green Venus. Looking very, very cool. So, let's move to Earth. Let's see if we can make that green. That'll be our little goal for today, to try and make all the planets green. Look, we can see. Look at the icon list. We've got a green sun. We've got a green Venus. Now we have, we're have. we going to go for a green Earth now. Okay, this is going to be really cool. Green Earth. Oh, with the city lights as well. All right. So, there we go. Let's get it all the right way up. Uh, turn off orbits. No, no, turn that off. And we'll turn that off. There we are. So now if we go uh, shift F2, there we go, open all these up. So if we yeah, go to chlorine again, we've already got a green earth. Or more of a more of a dead looking earth actually. We could uh, you could do loads of things of earth to make it look interesting. What about Neptune atmosphere earth? Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Sun. Doesn't even look like it has an atmosphere at all. Titan. Look at this. <laughs> Venus atmosphere, cloudy sort of earth there. Check that out. But yeah, we're gonna go chlorine again. Actually, no, no, I will go over Venus, then we'll make it a cloudy sort of green Venus. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, wow. Disco Earth right here. Look at that. So, we're going to go over... Um, so, somewhere around there. So, that's a green Earth now. Shit, that actually looks really cool. The green Earth. Uh, height, obviously, that makes it thicker. So, we can actually make a really cloudy green Earth. Oh, my God. So, yeah, and then we can just completely remove it. So, that's 
pretty, pretty cool. Like, yeah, this little uh, option menu, I never knew about this till a few weeks ago, but yeah, look how cool that looks. Uh, greenhouse, that'll just make the planet hotter. So look, if we look at the um, top left of the screen where it says Scorched Terror of Life, if you uh, lower that, not that one, if you lower the um, was it pressure, it the class of it should change. I oh, know there's density, wasn't it? No, was it? What was it? What did I... Green, no, it's greenhouse, that's it. So we can get temperature or temperate terror with life, warm terror, hot terror, scorched terror. So there are plenty of different classes there as we can increase the temperature up to 500 degrees, which is uh, pretty uh, crazy stuff there. But check that out. That actually looks really cool, the green earth there. So there we go. And yeah, that is it for earth. So look at that. That's another planet on the left. We could, can we customize the moon as well? I don't know if we can do the moon, uh, but there it is. So can we... Uh, is that going to do anything for the... Oops. Is that going to customize anything here? Model... Yeah, there's no no atmosphere on there. It's like Mercury as well. So there's that. So let's go back to orbit mode. So there's that. So next we're going to head to Mars. A green Mars could be a, a pretty interesting um, thing. So, no, I don't want to go to the moon. No, go go to Mars. Oh, more, more green objects. Because I actually tried visiting some planets that were already green. And they just wouldn't load for me. So... Yeah, I guess you can just make your own, which is a pretty uh, nice feature in Space Engine, I have to say. It's very, very uh, nice that the feature actually exists. So, right, let's continue with Mars. And Mars actually already has chlorine, it looks like. Am I, am I on Mars right now? Oh, no, no, I'm not. Okay, so now we're on Mars. So that's what chlorine would look like on Mars. Honestly, it doesn't really look very red. Maybe we have to uh, give it a little improvement. So that's Mars. So what if we uh, change the hue a bit? Make it a little more like the Universe Sandbox one, with that pinkish sort of colour. That's looking a little improved, if you ask me. It's very, very cloudy. If we uh, lower the height down, you can actually see what's below. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. So, you could have, like, a dust storm Mars like that, and then when it, um, obviously, the dust storm goes away, it appear more uh, simple. But there's that. So, can we get a red atmosphere Mars? She, um, let's go to chlorine again. Chlorine is a very nice template to use. Can we make it red? Hey, that's a real Mars right there. Proper red. Ooh. Oh, God, a very evil-looking Mars. Jeez. Very, very red indeed. That's a proper red planet right there. Um, so the hue, you can literally make it any colour as well. The purple looks pretty cool. Make it pink like the um, Universe Sandbox one as well. Should try and make it exactly the same as Universe Sandbox. But anyways, I'm going to continue with the green trend I've got, guys. The green Mars. Look at that. That actually looks really cool as well. Pressure. Oh, yeah, it doesn't do anything. But actually, we can make Mars hotter, actually. So if I increase greenhouse... Make it a hot desert. We could put it up to 400 degrees. Warm desert. 72. 29. 19 degrees. Temperate. There you go. So there we go. We've got, now got a uh, hatable Mars there. Just needs a bit of water and then it'll work. Can we add any... What does this do? Cloud parameters. Oh, oh, look. We can make the... <laughs> look at the clouds. What's going on here? What, what is all this? Can we really mess with these things? Oh, my God. Look at this. They just put them all up to max. This is going to be a uh, pretty crazy stuff. Uh, but update is that? What have we done? Oh dear! I think we've broken it. <laughs> okay, let's get those. Uh, look at this. It's quite uh, weird the way that works. All right. Um, any other settings we can play with? Can we do anything with the volcanoes on this one? I mean, put them all up to max. I know. I've seen what they look like all on max. It is pretty crazy. So um, there we go. Update is that doing anything? Yeah, it doesn't really work with planets with um, textures, it seems, but only works with exoplanets. So there's a green Mars, looking very cool indeed. All right, let's head to uh, Jupiter next. We'll do the same process with all these. There we go. There we are. Oh, uh, Ceres. Hello, Ceres. No, we don't want Ceres, sadly. Can't customize you. We want Jupiter. So Jupiter is here. There we go. That's what we want. So there we go. So now we should be able to customize this. This could look quite interesting. A green Jupiter gas giant. That looks very interesting. So play, we can actually have it moving as well while we're doing it. Because this game doesn't really lag, so that's nice. Um, atmosphere, gas planet. What if you change this? Does that do anything? Ah, oh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Gas planet. Ah, that's quite cool. A lot of different uh, settings to mess around with here. It's quite fun. Gas giant. Okay, where's the atmosphere? Can we... Uh... Yeah, go to atmosphere. So what if we do uh, Neptune? Oh, hello, blue. Oh, so uh, chlorine. Chlorine is uh, very nice to mess with. Oh, so we can get a green. Can we go all green with this? Increase the height of it. Oh, dear. Wow, look at that. That's a very bright uh, glowing Jupiter. Definitely uh, reflective. 
So Q, get it in green. Oh yeah, look at that. Crease that. Look at that. Green atmosphere Jupiter. That actually looks really cool. Oh my god, look at this. Jeez. So cute. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, these colours are really fun. I wish Universe Sandbox had this much to... I wish you could just play with it in-game without having to change the files to uh, do all these things. But yeah, this is just pretty darn awesome. I mean, look how cool the green Jupiter is now. Oh, that is very, very nice indeed. So there, there we go. So that is a green Jupiter now. Look how cool it is. Let's look at the list of planets now. Look at all these green ones. So head to Saturn next. There we go. So Saturn, we'll do the same with you. Oh, Saturn's going to look good in green, I think. So it has an Earth atmosphere. So chlorine. Then increase that. Brightness, I guess. Oh, look how cool that looks. Wow. It looks really good on Saturn. Green gas giant Saturn right there. Increase the height a bit more. Oh, my God. Wow. That looks really cool. Green. Actually, that actually looks so cool. It looks amazing. So there we go. And then as it so I want it to have a bit of glow. There we go. Wow, that actually looks so cool. Greenhouse, we'll put all the way up. I just want hot or cold gas giant. Okay. Let's have it as a temperate one as well. But yeah, there is that. Oh, that looks awesome. So there we go. Now, we'll visit Titan on this, because we know Titan has an atmosphere. So Titan, I'm guessing is this one? That is Titan, yep. Good, good. Oh, wow. Look at the, the view of Saturn from Titan. It's going to look amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're definitely going to have to have a look at that. But yeah, we're going to customize Titan as well. So we're going to give it chlorine. There we go. Then increase that. Oh, God. Look at this. So green Titan as well. So we're going to have a green Saturn in a green Titan sky. So bright. There we go. Proper bright green Titan. Wow, look at that. It's even glowing around the back. So if we land, or um, yeah, land on the back, we should be able to see Saturn in the sky, I hope. So whereabouts is Saturn right now? Saturn, where are you at? Where, where is Saturn anyway? Come on, come on. Where's Saturn? Saturn? Oh, there it is. So there's Titan. So if we uh, land on the north of Titan, we should be able to see that green Saturn in our night sky. Oh, it goes invisible. Ah, oh. but yeah, that's what you'd see something like that. It's quite annoying how we're... Uh, planet goes invisible that maybe because i played with the atmosphere but so yeah we have to looks like we have to completely leave the planet but you, yeah there you go you get a view like that that looks really cool so yeah there's a, there's a view of saturn from uh, the green titan there very uh interesting there so yeah we've got a green titan as well around saturn there so we can customize both of those all right next up we've got uranus oh look at the green planets going like infected all the objects with green so there it is so we've got uranus looking very very boring oh my god it's even worse than the sandbox one Look how boring it looks. Got to definitely have to fix that. If we go Neptune, that helps. Let's actually just try and make a fixed Uranus quickly. Let's see if we can uh, do that. There we go. That's looking better already. There we are. Let's see, else we can't have it those colours. But yeah, pale sort of blue. Yeah, there you go. That's, that looks like Uranus to me. There we go. Literally did that in a few seconds. There you go. That that looks way better. That looks that looks much much better. And obviously the brightness you can change. But yeah, for me that. That's what it should look like anyway. But yeah, anyways, let's go and infect it with our green. So green. There we go. Increase the saturation as well. How did it look like on the cyan? That's looking good. Right, so let's put it back to green. Increase the height of it a bit. Oh my god, look at the green go. So uh, greenhouse. You can actually make this a hot planet even this far away. Jeez. So there we go. So the uh, frozen ice giant. Because it is the coldest planet in our solar system. Surprisingly, even Neptune is slightly warmer than this. So there is Uranus. So there goes, we've got green. And now lastly, we've got um, good old Neptune to do. And actually, we should be able to do Pluto since it has an atmosphere as well. So, oh, that blue looks amazing. But I have actually um, given Neptune an um, update in this as well before. Um, do that quickly as well. Let's get it the right way round. Help me to get it the right way. There we go. The dark spot, that is something I wish was in Sandbox. That is, that's like one of the things I'll be asking for if I could ever put anything in an update. Right, so hue, can we, uh, no, we can't do that. Go to chlorine then. And we should be able to check, can we change the hue of that? No. Oh no, we need to, I'm still editing Uranus. No, I don't want to do that. Dang it. Okay, so you can see in the top icon um, what I'm doing to it right now. So let's put it back to what it's supposed to be. Lower the height down a bit. There we go. So we fixed Uranus. All right, turn this off. Return it on for Neptune. There we go. That's what we want. So Hugh, we can make it 
slightly more blue because I think this looks a little too white for my liking. If you uh, give it just a tad more blue, I think you can make it look way better. Uh, bright. That's way too bright. So, Hugh, can we uh, make you more of a Neptune blue? Something like that is looking slightly better. Uh, actually, let's go to, uh, what was it, Earth or like, or Chlorine? There we go, it says Chlorine. Now, get it to blue. Blue's about there. That's looking um, looking slightly better as well. That's pretty crazy, increasing all that up. Saturation, there you go, look at that, that's a proper blue. So, uh, lower the height down, make it a little more realistic there. That's looking good. So, uh, yeah, Hugh, got it in the correct blue. That looks way that looks way better than what it was, if you ask me. It's definitely uh, more blue. But anyways, let's go ahead and make it green. Green Neptune. Jeez. Oh, that is so crazy, that hue. Um, bright. Oh, my God. Oh, Neptune is very bright. That's a very, very bright green. Above that blue atmosphere underneath there. So, yeah, check that out. So, there we go. We've got a blue Neptune now. So, lastly, we only have Pluto left, I think. Oh, Hamea is actually in the system as well. Hamea make making uh, Iris as well. Yeah, Pluto, we should be able to customize you since you have an atmosphere. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, we have to lower that. Put it to green. And there we go. Oh, man. That's a proper green Pluto. Look at that. That looks pretty uh, interesting. Pressure. No, we don't need to change that. Uh, bright. Oh, my God. Jeez. Let's just lower the uh, thing there. Increase the, put the brightness all the way up and then lower it. There you go. That's a nice green Pluto. It looks pretty good on Pluto, actually. The clothes. Hamea and Mate. I don't think we can customize these, can we? There's Hamea. That's what it should look like in Sandbox. But Sandbox won't make objects that are not spheres. Then we've got Make Make over here. Why is it saying Uranus is a, a warmer than Neptune? Oh, it's because the next guy played with it. Seth. But Uranus is meant to be uh, colder. Uh, what about Iris? Does Iris have an atmosphere? I don't know. I don't think he... I don't even know if we know. Um, so there we go. Can we customise this? Does this have an atmosphere? No, nah, it doesn't look like it does. Okay. But yeah, there we go. So now we've got a green solar system. <laughs> look at this. Oh, man. And my game won't let me move. Yay. So um, there we go. Oh, my God. Oh. So there we go. All that. And now I can move. So... Yeah, green solar system. What do you guys think of that? I really like the sun, I have to say there. So we've got the sun. We've got a green sun. Then we've got a green Venus, because Mercury doesn't work. So we've got green Venus. That is looking really cool. Then we've got a green Earth. Look at that. Look at that. that Earth looks really cool. Then we've got green Mars. At 20 degrees, since I played around with it. Green Mars. They're looking very uh, interesting. Then we've got Jupiter. As well, there's Jupiter. Very, very green. Then we've got Saturn, which I think looks the best, I have to say, out of all these. Look how good that looks. Yeah, let me know. Which one of these do you think looks the best in green? Then we've got uh, Uranus. There it is there. Very, very green. And then we've got uh, Neptune all the way over here, which we just did. So there's Neptune in green. And there we go. And then we've Pluto. And there's Pluto, so very, very cold here as well. So, yeah, there we go. That is it for today's Space Engine video, guys. So, yeah, let me know uh, what you think of this uh, little... Uh, um, one-off video, I guess. Do you want me to do more stuff like this in the future? Just let me know. Uh, what, if you want me to continue Space Engine, let me know. What should I do in Space Engine? Um, leave um, your um, thoughts down below. But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. So make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to uh, 6,000 subscribers because that would be absolutely amazing. Also, let's see if we can go for about 50 likes on this video. Let's see if we can hit that because that would be absolutely amazing. It helps the channel out a lot, guys, and it's much, much appreciated as well. And obviously, a massive thanks to everyone who has recently subscribed. The subscriber count is still going up insanely quick, which is just absolutely amazing. So, yeah, I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Wow, what have we done? Okay, there we go. But yeah, that looks, that's such a cool uh, view, I have to say there. But yeah, anyways, that is it, guys. So make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.